what's going on with you guys thank you for tapping with me again today and if you're new to the channel my name is cleveland so i hope this video finds you all in the absolute best of health and spirits wherever you might be in this video we're going to do an update on those discus you remember the discus that we got right we went and picked up a couple of discus a couple weeks ago now some things i gotta re i gotta some things i gotta get off my chest these discus are finicky they are very finicky. I mean, I tried to feed them fiber bites. I tried to feed them blood worms. They just would not eat. And as you might remember, we threw them in the 29 gallon that was under the 225 gallon aquarium. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Cool. High five. Yeah, see? Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Make believe, make believe. So yeah, we threw them in the 29 gallon under the 225 gallon aquarium. Now, I believe part of the reason why they've been so finicky was the fact that they were down there in the 29 gallon. They were down low. A lot of times when you have fish down low, they tend to be a little skittish. They get up, they're not that comfortable. They don't really acclimate well to the aquarium. So I don't believe the discus were any different. So I'm pointing to them because now we have the disc up high. We have them right here in this 20 gallon. Yes, it's a 20 gallon aquarium. And yes, it's kind of small for these discus, but it was a very, very good change because by me moving them into this aquarium right here, we got them eating. So uh, we went back to the pet store. We asked them, hey, what do you guys feed these guys? What do you feed your discus? They feed them something called TD pellets. I can show them the TD pellets. They, they said TDO pellets. So um, they had them in the refrigerator. So we're going to have them in the refrigerator. So they were feeding them those. Also, they were feeding them black worms, live black worms. Now, these fish love the black worms they love the live black worms they're eating for us they've been eating for the past two days now yeah yeah all this time they haven't eaten until just two days ago so i got them eating the blood the black worms yesterday the blue one was still a little scared didn't really want to come out and eat until i kind of like hid behind the door looked through the window and seen that he was following suit and, uh, you know, maybe we should just call them fire and ice. Like so uh, we got fire and ice right here. So ice decided to follow fire's lead and then uh, decided to eat after I hid behind the door. Today, fire and ice decided to eat. So they are still looking a little skittish, but it's way different than how they were when they were down low. So let's go ahead and feed these fish together and... Let's also take note of the temp. So it is a little high. It's about 88 in here right now. So uh, one of the things that I do recommend, I mean, I'm pretty sure you discus owners already know. But for those of you that don't have discus, these are our first set of discus. So we had to do a lot of educating. We had to do a lot of research. So they do like temperatures anywhere between 82 to 86. So all of my aquariums, they're not ran on heaters. They don't require uh, um, these high temps in their aquariums, and the fish room stays warm enough. So um, this tank is no different. So it's at 88 degrees because of the heater and as well as the fact that it's actually pretty warm outside. So uh, I do recommend having a heater on your, on your discus aquarium. Also, you want to make sure the water stays really good. You know, this thing is being ran off two sponge filters. You also want to make sure that you purchase the same food that they were eating at the pet store. I mean, that's the main one. Don't, don't assume that once you get them home, they're going to auto automatically start eating the food that you have for them. Ask your pet store, what are you feeding the discus? First, ask them if they're eating. Then ask them, what are they feeding them? And I would recommend getting that same exact food. So that way, when you do get them home, you will have some fish that eat. And that's one of the main concerns with having new fish will, is will they eat? Because if fish don't eat, you know what happens to a fish that don't eat. 
So let's uh, let's try. It's okay, pops. So I I also it's okay, Carter. So I bought these little cheap um, little uh, uh, um, condiment condiment bottles. You would usually put ketchup, mayonnaise, what can I ketchup, mustard, oil, vinegar, things like that in here. And basically, it's just a little bottle for your condiments. So this is not a condiment, but this works very well for the black worms. So all I had to do was cut the tip, make the tip a little bit bigger. So now all I got to do is wake them up a little bit because they are alive, but they are definitely, um, when, they're, when they're in a the refrigerator, they become quite dormant. So watch, check it out. Get in there. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. But nonetheless, you see them eating, though. They are going to eat all of those. I'm pretty sure of it. So, again, all of these black worms are alive. You see them moving around, and you see that they are eating right here in front of us. And I am so happy to see that because I was, I was, I was regretting. We, we were regretting buying these discus because, you know, we don't want to buy fish and then have them starve to death. You know, that's never the plan. And uh, look at how they, look at the, look at all those, all those black worms down there moving around. So yeah, that being said, we will grab some more discus. Uh, we will definitely grab a couple more discus. Meanwhile, before that, before we were able, before we were getting a meeting, we thought we were going to have to take them back to the pet store and get some store credit for these guys. Because, again, one of the main things is they are they're not difficult, but they require an experienced fish keeper. If you look up if you look up the care level online, it says expert care level. Um, you just need to be in a hobby for a while. You just need to have an understanding of of not giving up and trying and educating yourself and, and things like that. If you do that, I think anybody could potentially own discus. But again, they do require a lot of attention. They require a lot of a lot of things that other other aquariums and other fish may not. Like I said, the temperature, that's gonna eliminate uh, a lot of different plants that you might wanna keep in your aquarium because they can't handle the high temps all of those type of things. No, it's close up, babe. But just keep all of that in mind. Do your research before you attempt to buy the discus. And even after you buy your discus, keep doing research. Research, research, research. That's the most important thing. Don't ever assume that you know everything. There's always more to learn. There's always somebody else that could teach you something. And right now, they're not really eating because we're like right, right in their face. So, um, yeah, definitely want them to eat all those black worms. But, yeah, so we got names for them. That's pretty cool. I love fire. Yeah. Good job, babe. Thank you, babe. That's pretty cool. That just came to me right now. But, uh, yeah, so we'll probably grab a couple more discus. And um, they'll obviously need to be moved to a bigger aquarium at some point. Look at fire just doing her thing. And I think it was the light and then just me standing right there. Right, right. Because, look, as soon as I backed up. <laughs> you shook that one off. <laughs> Shaking it <Damn>. off. <laughs> there you go. Come on, Ice. Get up in there. Get up in there. Whoop. There you go. Look at that. Yep, there you go. Ice going in on it now. Uh-huh. So, yeah, they will have food for the next 10 minutes. Ice is back there going in. I can't really see him eating, No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But, yeah. Yeah, get that nice pile right there in front, fire. There you go. Get you there some of that boop. Go. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. They making up for the time that they didn't eat. Right, right. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So, um, yeah. Um, the fact that they are eating the blood worms, I know I know they also mentioned that they were eating those TDO pellets. But um the this amount of blood worms, I don't know the price of it, but they sell it by the ounce, so I will just keep buying um, these live. Four dollars? Didn't you pay four dollars? I don't, I don't, I really don't recall. But I'll tell you one thing: um, the fact that we have these expensive fish eating, uh, I definitely don't mind buying these black worms whenever it's needed. 
it see it, it looks so crazy to see all of these black worms just moving around in that tank. Man, y'all look like y'all are full. They do. Can you take it out and uh, preserve them? I don't know how I would get all those black worms out. To be honest with you, maybe they'll just oh, stay. Oh, so much. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. A nice ball of them came out at one time. Damn. Well, maybe they'll just stay alive and they could just munch on them whenever they want to. I mean, okay. yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's all I have for you. That was just a quick little update on these, on these discus in case y'all was wondering how they were doing and, um, you know, just you give you all. Uh, I haven't seen anybody ask. Them. On my TikTok. They haven't asked me at all. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I do an update video for you all. Let you know what we've learned as newbie discus fish keepers. You know, about two weeks in, two and a half, three weeks in now at this point. And um, we've learned some things. Definitely learned some things. And, uh, you know, as we learn, we're going to teach. That's what the channel's about. You know, we learn, we educate. That's how it goes. You know, each one teach one. So anyway, I hope that you learned something. I hope that you were inspired by something. I hope that you were, hope that you were entertained by something. If you are new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hey. Carter's over there having throwing a ruckus because he wants you to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And everybody, if you like the video, like the video, and then share the video. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Peace. y'all so we almost at 20k we almost at 20k i appreciate you all make sure you subscribe to the channel share the content help us get to that 20k also follow us over on tsd with me on tiktok and youtube that is our other channel behind the scenes you get to see all the behind the scenes content aida's in charge of that one she's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me so if you want to get ahead of me too you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.